Welcome back. Today, we're going to investigate the difference between a LISA and a pension. If you like the content that we're putting out, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If there is any content you would like us to talk about, please leave in the comments section below. So, let's get into it. In the UK, the government allows us some small hope for tax efficiency in the shape of a pension at ISA. There was a rumour that the LISA was introduced to replace the pension, but I think that was fabricated by Steve down the pub after a few too many lager. Let's start with the LISA. This is a hybrid of a pension and ISA. It is available only to those under 40 and is a way to encourage them to save to buy their first house. So how does it work? In short, it is a tax efficient investment vehicle where for every four pounds you save, the government will give you one pound. The maximum payment is £4,000 a year with a £1,000 bonus added at the end of the tax year. It can be invested in cash or in the great companies of the world and it forms part of your £20,000 ISA allowance. You can withdraw money and bonuses at any time to buy a house for first-time buyers and also from the age of 60. Withdrawals outside of this will mean loss of bonuses and potentially other penalties. Sadly, there is a limited amount of providers that offer licenses. So to summarize, a LISA is a savings vehicle for two reasons, buying a house or retirement. Now, before we move on to pensions, this is very quick reminder to hit the notification bell and subscribe to listen to our latest content. So pensions, how do they work? Well, they are tax efficient savings vehicles that can be started at any age. The government will provide tax relief on contributions made personally up to your marginal rate. For example, if a basic rate taxpayer, you will receive 20% tax relief or 80% contribution means 20% government contribution. It is as simple as that. There are limits, however. The maximum is £40,000 per year from you and your employer. This is dependent on your earnings and you can only put in 100% of your earnings up to £40,000. There are other tax benefits, but we'll stick with the basics. You cannot correctly access pension funds until you are 55 and this is dependent on your current age. So the verdict. They both have their benefits and can be used nicely together. The real secret to all those savings vehicles is getting the relevant strategies right along with human behaviours to investing. We will cover more of this again so make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with more on content like this.